Hello and welcome to PCI TV. In today's video, we're going to continue working with Sentinel-1 imagery, which was demonstrated in the last video can be downloaded for free from the European Space Agency's website. We've gone ahead and downloaded three separate data sets. So we have a data set that was collected on February 23rd, a data set that was collected on March 7th, and a data set that was collected on April 12th. These three data sets are collected exactly in the same orientation. So they are, there are all three ascending passes. All three are configured the same way. Sentinel-1 is a dual pole uh, satellite. The data that we're looking at is HHHV, so transmit HH, receive HV. So I've got the data loaded up in focus, and I'm just going to quickly show you here. So we have the three data sets. So it's very easy to um, uh, display the data the way that we want. So if, for example, we, we want to look at a single date, so let's say we wanted to just look at the HH channel, we go over to the Files tab, we click on View, and we go View as Grayscale. If we wanted to compare that HH channel to the HV channel, we just click on, right-click on the HH channel, click on View, View as Grayscale. So now if I go over to my Maps tab, I essentially have HV and HH loaded exactly uh, in the same view. So I can toggle these on and off. I can pan and zoom, go to a specific location, and just have a, a sense of what the differences are between the HH and the HV polarization. Now another thing that we can do is we can make a false color composite. Now with radar imagery, of course, we're not looking at the uh, different uh, vegetation characteristics in terms of their spectral response. What we're looking at is the physical backscatter in the different bands. So the, the vegetation and the surface features are actually going to distribute the radar energy differently depending on multiple factors including their surface roughness, so how uh, how, how rough the different features are. Uh, soil moisture has, a, has an effect as well, as well as orientation with respect to the look direction. So let's go ahead and make a false color composite, if we will, using a single date with two different channels. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click on the Add Layer Wizard. Here we can select RGB. We'll go Next. So we'll just work with one of our images for now. I'm going to choose the April 12th image because it's quite dramatic. Some, some changes are quite interesting here. I'll pick HH for the red channel. I'll pick HV for the green and then I'll go ahead and select HH once again for the blue channel. So I don't have three channels, but I can still make a multicolor composite using the two channels that are available. So as you can see, it's very interesting what we can see here. If I zoom out, I'll just explain really briefly what uh, differences we're noticing. So the greens that are uh, coming out here, these are, these are forest stands that are located between the agricultural crops. And if we look at our uh, color assignment, so the green is uh, mainly coming out from the HV polarization, so there's a predominant scattering coming from the HV. And if we look at some of these other areas, for example, these magenta areas, what we're noticing in this case is that the predominant scattering is coming from HH, therefore a little tinge of red. And that's due to the spring thaw in the Montreal region, which is giving us a little bit of stubble and also possibly some response due to the moisture that's located in the soils on the field, which is affecting the backscatter.